Now for this part then, we're told that f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 2 cos of a half x, where x is valid for greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to pi radians, all right? And when f of x equals 0, we've got to show that there's a solution, a root, in other words, between 0.8 and 0.9. And what this is, is essentially, or the method we're going to use, is that what we call the change in sign method. Essentially, just as a quick recap, what we've got is our graph of, say, f of x against x. And when f of x equals 0, it's where it would cross the x-axis. And they're saying, does it cross the x-axis somewhere between 0.8 and 0.9? And if the graph does cross between 0.8 and 0.9, suppose the graph looks, say, something like this, then this would be our root. It would go from a positive to a negative value. Mind you, it could look something like this, we'll draw it in green, going from a negative value at 0.8 to a positive value at 0.9. This would be our root. So to do this, all we're looking then is for a change in sign. So we start by looking at f of 0 0.8, seeing whether we get a positive or negative value. So we just need to put 0 0.8 through here. So we're going to have 0 0.8 squared minus 3 multiplied by 0 0.8, and then plus 2 times the cosine or cos of a half of 0.8. Okay, so make sure your calculator is in radians mode because you're dealing with a trigonometric function here and your angle is in radians. So if you do that on your calculator, what you should find you get is 0.08212 and so on, which is a positive value greater than zero. So clearly we haven't got this part of the green graph, we've got this value up here, okay, a positive value when x is 0 0.8. So what I'm hoping for now is when I do f of 0 0.9, I get a negative value. So f of 0 0.9 in the same way, just feed it through this equation. If you do that on your calculator, you will in fact get a negative number, minus 0 0.08910 and so on. So this is less than zero. So what we need to say is that since our graph has gone from positive to negative, since there's been a change in sign, certainly not this green one, we could remove this green one now. Okay, we'll just take that out like so. Okay, we've got our red graph in here, looking, say, something like this. But because there's been a change in sign, we've also got to say it's continuous. It's continuous over this interval. There's no break in the graph, okay? So summarizing, we've got that therefore, since the graph is continuous over the interval 0 0.8 to 0 0.9, and there is a change in sign, there must be a root then in this interval. And notice, by the way, that we write intervals in square brackets like this, okay? Now, if you did want any further help with this method of finding roots by change in sign, you can always go on my website. There's tutorials on that, okay? So, I hope that's given you some idea then how we can go about this particular part of the question.